Other forest management techniques focus on thinning to grow large, healthy trees and reduce the risk of catastrophic fire. These young trees are part of the ladder fuels that move fire from the ground to the crowns of taller trees. In order to grow large trees, we need to thin out the smaller trees. Trees are competing for the same moisture and light, and when they're overcrowded, they will stagnate and not grow well. Uh, the second reason is to protect the stand from wildfire. That's one of the greatest risks in northeastern California. Basically, the design here is to remove what we call ladder fuels, which when a fire occurs, will climb up into the crown and you'll have a large crown fire with flame lengths of 100 feet or more coming out from the very tops of these crowns. By thinning, we remove the, most of those ladder fuels so a fire coming in here will go down to the surface and the flame lengths will be four to eight to 10 feet from the surface and it makes it much easier for the firefighting agencies to put the fires out and for the trees to survive the fire. As these trees grow, they will sequester a lot of carbon, both above ground in the boles of the trees, the limbs, but also the roots. In 50 years, we'll have a lot more carbon stored on those sites that were planted than we would if we just left it alone and it grew brush.